This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to be going over the typing module and how most of the types inside it are actually deprecated since Python 3.9. I only recently found out about this and that's why I'm kind of upset because in my opinion, the way they're handling this is kind of sneaky. Anyway, to dive into what I want to talk about today, I'm going to import typing as T and then I'm also going to import collections.abc as C. Next, I'm going to create a function that says, say hello. And that's going to take some names to actually say hello to. And names should be of type iterable. So here I'm going to refer to our typing module and use the iterable type. And this function will return none because we are only executing code. But next we'll type in for name in names, print names or name. And at a first glance, this should look quite fine. I mean, if you type in say hello, you add some names such as Bob and Luigi the program is going to work perfectly fine because we passed in a type which was of type iterable. If we were to pass in a number, that would not work because an integer is not of type iterable. Our type has to be iterable for this function to actually work correctly. And even if we were to run mypy, so we type in mypy main.py, which is my current file, we would have no issues found in this source file. Now, what I absolutely hate about this is that typing.iterable is deprecated since Python 3.9, which is ridiculous that it took me until Python 3.12 to find out about. And maybe other code editors or other type checkers are more strict about this, but MyPy and PyCharm show no signs of life when it comes to this deprecation. And to actually see that this is deprecated, you need to go to the docs directly. It's written in the docs that everything's deprecated since Python 3.9, such as this iterable, it's going to tell you to use collections.abc instead. And this is since Python 3.9, which again is insane because I'm using Python 3.12. I use Python nearly every day and I only found out about it recently because this deprecation is incredibly implicit. So what you're supposed to do instead for these collection types is use collections.abc which I gave an alias of C, so I can just quickly do this. And this would be the correct and modern way to annotate your types. We're just importing from collections.abc now instead of typing. Personally, I hate this change because I thought typing is just such a straightforward module. It has one place that contains all the types you need. So it's just easy to refer to that module if you want to use any type you want. Now I'm complaining of course, but I will get used to this. I get used to all the changes. That's what we do as developers. I just hate how implicit this change is being brought about. I mean, again, it took me three Python versions to find out that I've been using a deprecated module all this time. But let's go back to typing.iterable and go to the declaration. What you're going to notice is that all the types or all of the types that are getting deprecated from the typing module are actually just aliases to the collections module now, which just means that if you refer to something from the typing module, it just points to the one that's in the collections module. t.iterable and c.iterable are exactly the same thing. But let's take a look at another example. And here I'm going to create a function called repeat, which is going to take a function and repeat that function. And I'm going to use the callable type here and we want to provide the amount of times we want to repeat that function. That will return none because we're only executing code and then for i in range times execute that function. Then let's create a simple function that says hello, returns nothing and we will print hello just so we can test out our repeat function. Here we can type in repeat hello without the parentheses and times will be set to three. So that when we run this, we should get that function repeated three times. Once again, everything's running perfectly. Even if we open up uh, MyPy and run that, we're going to find no issues in this source file, even if we're using a deprecated type. Except this time, if we actually go to the declaration, the callable doc will have a message that says this is a deprecated alias to collections.abc.callable. And if we actually go to the docs, 
Once again, it's going to be deprecated since Python 3.9, and it's going to redirect you to collections.abc, where you will find the appropriate type, which then means you can change it to c.callable, which actually uses the correct module for this type. But again, this change isn't really the worst thing in the world. What I hate the most about it is how implicitly it's being handled. The fact that I had to learn this from one of you guys in the comment section three versions later is what disturbs me. I read the updates, I read the documentation all the time, but still I had no idea until Python 3.12 that this was actually a thing. And they write that the intention is to minimize the runtime impact of typing. I personally don't know how big that impact actually is, but they state very clearly that this deprecation will not generate deprecation warnings. And I don't understand that. I don't understand why they wouldn't generate any deprecation warnings for something like this. And they continue to write that the deprecated functionality may eventually be removed from the typing module. They wrote may here. I don't understand why they write may. I don't know if they're still thinking about this change or not, but I wish it was a bit more concrete. It's really like telling somebody, hey, maybe in the future you'll be able to use this. Maybe you won't. We're still deciding. Or maybe it's for backwards compatibility. I know that it's not an easy decision or it's not as easy as saying, you should just remove it or you should just keep it. I only wish they would put something a bit more concrete out for all of us so that we know that something's going to change or that something's not going to change. Instead of having us find out in October 2020-25 when they actually deprecate it, if they deprecate it. But yeah, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. Do let me know what you think about this change in the comment section down below, whether you already knew about it or whether this is the first time you hear about it. I would love to hear about that in the comment section down below. Also your takes on the matter. I mean, of course I can get very angry about this, but I would love to hear whether you think this actually makes sense, whether it's good that they pass it implicitly or whether it's completely my fault that I didn't read the documentation close enough when Python 3.9 was released. So yeah, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.